Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode where we work on the Yambulance Oh, Yam's had enough We work on this ambulance behind me, the Yambulance to convert it into a tiny home on wheels This episode, as you can probably tell from the title we're fixing things to the roof That is the next stage because we're going to have to build, drill holes in the roof and run wires through the roof and certain things like that and we can't really do that if say the ceiling's on so we have to do this first so first things first we're trying to figure out a way to get a boat on the roof a single skull in particular yet to come up with a name for the boat but the orange and blue single that i've got now to put on the roof here on the ambulance so i've just had the skylight fitted put in so i know what i have to avoid there's three things on the roof like you've seen in the making the hole in the roof video you've got the fan you've got another pop-up skylight and then you've got the skylight at the back that was new so that we have plenty of light and plenty of airflow in the van but how do you mount a boat to a van this tall and be able to get the boat off and be able to mount the boat to it well one solution that we've came up with is this right here so this is a ladder rack that we have adjusted slightly so that the boat can fit on it so i'll have these this is part of a hudson boat rack i've got another one to attach on the other side where the boat itself will actually attach to and what you will see once we get everything up onto the roof the ladder rack itself comes out here and then pivots down so hopefully it will come up out here and pivot down and then potentially or at least the idea is be able to stand up here secure the boat while it's sort of here on this sling part secure the boat down here on this sling part and then push it on up there that is the idea but how do you mount the ladder rack to the roof well you have to make a roof rack for a massive van and so we're going to do that as well and then going on top of the van lastly on top of the roof rack is some solar panels so still figuring it out at the moment we've got to order as we've got some chainsawing going on behind me solar panels going on the roof rack ladder rack going on the roof rack boat going on the roof rack and avoiding all the holes in the roof now that i've discussed the plans let's see if we can get it all done yam do you think we can get it all done I think Yam thinks we can get it all done. And now, under the watchful eye of Yam, we're doing a little bit of cutting. So the aluminium that we're going to make the roof rack out of is basically the same as this aluminium. My dad's got an old ladder rack. No, he's not. He's got an old roof ladder that we're just going to cut up and use as part of the roof rack same aluminium same thickness etc is going to work and then we'll get some more aluminium to make the rest of the roof rack out of so save a little bit of money recycle a bit that's not getting used and i get to use a big saw oh, yeah. And that is a ladder cut into pieces to hopefully fit on top of a van to hopefully make a roof rack to hopefully contain a boat 
and some solar panels. Let's see if it worked. Now we are on to the next day of roof antics on the Yambulance. The idea is to have the ladder sides, get them refurbished a little bit, get them cleaned up, a little bit of paint and then attach bars to them. The bars should come later this afternoon. So hopefully after a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of painting, we'll have the bars and the bolts ready to go onto the roof and then the ladder rack too. And that is the sides of the ladders that were chopped up the other day. Painted, cleaned, looking pretty decent. Not 100% perfect because I decided to cut different parts, but looking pretty solid. Now it's time to measure up the van, measure up these bits, chop these bits up and then add the aluminium bars to these. And then eventually, once we get there, add the ladder rack. So we've got the aluminium bars cut and the, these bad boys right here. So we just got 50 by 50 box aluminium sections. If you're curious, 1850 wide and hopefully that will be about 4.1 or 4.5 meters long. Need to confirm that. 60 by 20. So that's going to be the bottom. Then the bars are going to go on top. That's going to give us enough height to get above the middle hole in the roof, which is the fan, which doesn't move up and down. So the solar panels can sit above that and also have the ladder rack on one side where the solar panels will be sort of middle to the other side, if that makes sense. So let's get to some chopping and get to some roof pudding on it. Right here. Post cutting yesterday, couldn't really do much else because we're waiting on the bolts to be delivered so we can attach stuff to the feet on the roof. The bolts have now arrived so we can attach those. We're going to be basically drilling holes through those bits, the side bits, and then onto the, the 50 mil aluminium box section there. So last night, just waiting, just doing some things, ended up taking the top of the bulkhead out. Quite heavy, that's down here. With some plywood and some extra steel there as well. So it gives me a little bit more space in here to probably going to insulate and ply this area to use as a storage area but also gives me access to sort of different things like now I can move the the old AC part here that used to be attached to that speakers stereo etc as well so that gives me more access there but now today we're going to finish off fingers crossed at least start putting the rack on the roof let's get it We've been rained off of putting the rest of the brackets and whatnot on, waiting on feet for the other side. So we've got the aluminium sort of side done, then the box bits goes on, goes in. But as we were doing that, something got delivered. The solar panels, absolutely fantastic. These bad boys here, about 305 watts each. So they should go onto the rack as well once we've sorted everything else out, once we've got the ladder rack on, once we've got the actual rack itself on. Exciting times, but we need to wait for the rain to go off to finish off the rest of the roof as well as get the other feet to put the other side on.
after a little bit of drilling, a little bit of cutting, and some more removal of things from the roof of the van, we're getting there. So we're basically waiting on these feet right here. So the feet attached to the bits in the van that are supposed to, I mean, hold stuff on the roof. Then we've got the sides of the ladder racks. Then on top, about one here, one, I think it's going around here, one approximately, I think it was about there, and then one at the back, or at least something along those lines of the aluminium bars that are in the van just now. And then this bad boy goes on here, right about here, and then the solar panels that are in there, one will mount across from about here to here-ish. So that's why we're raising up, just to get above this fan, and then hopefully the other one will be <laughs> from there to about here. Absolutely fantastic. Now to cut off this other aerial, if anyone wants an aerial, let me know in the comments below, and then probably go get some food, and then wait for these feet. And we're back on another day. We've had a little bit of a delay because we've been waiting on parts. So, as I've said, on the van you have the feet underneath the aluminium for part of the rack, but only had four. Been waiting on more feet, which has just arrived, which means we can do the same as this side on the other side, and then, as I've already explained, put the aluminium on top, and then... that should go on the top and then we put the bad boy solar panels up there too or at least that's the plan as long as the rain stays off ish so let's get to new feet on the van oh yeah Today, hopefully, is the last day of doing stuff to the roof. So we've got little little covers for the ends of the aluminium here. We've got the boat rack should be done there, giving the last bit of a clean so that it stays at least a little bit clean because solar panel is going to go here, hopefully. Solar panel is going to go there, and so I'm not really going to be able to access much of the roof once these panels are on without taking everything off. So today, hopefully the panels will be in, cable will be going through the hole in the roof there, and the roof will be complete, or at least that is the plan for today. So let's get to it. And that is the roof rack finished, the solar panels on, the boat rack on, and as you can tell, the words coming out of my mouth are not the words you're hearing because the microphone decided not to work. But now, with the solar panels on, with the boat rack on the roof, with the roof rack underneath both of those things, that is the journey complete that has taken quite a bit longer than I anticipated taking. Just waiting on some parts, which... A bit of foreshadowing for the rest of the build. Just waiting on parts here or there, whether I forgot to get them, or whether delivery was delayed, or things like that. But, finally got the roof rack complete, and it's been a process. Just like the previous antics on the van, with all the experience that I have, it's been a learning process. A lot of help from my dad in this one, using all the tools, getting the scaffolding up, using all the saws, cutting everything, drilling everything. 
but it seems to have come out pretty nice and stay tuned for getting the boat on the rack eventually because the boat is currently on the water or at least by the water rather than at the house by the van but the plan is hopefully those solar panels get enough power to power the van which they should and have the boat on the rack as well to travel with the ambulance training tool with the boat on the rack bike and erg in the back and as always remember to subscribe if you haven't already hit that like button and I will see you in the next episode when, like I said, I at least attempt running the wires inside the ambulance where we are getting closer and closer to the finished project. Oh, yeah.